Greetings everyone, my name is Jesse, this is the Auditorium, I react to video and music for the first time. Today's return of a game I've only done one time on the channel prior, and that is Manicamia, which I believe might be related to the Atelier series, I could be wrong about that. Uh, Alchemist of Al Revis, we're going to be hearing two songs, A Smile of Ice from the channel Arch Plenaire, and then uh, A Young Man's Worries from the channel Huxley, both requested by Cabe. Bedlam, thank you very much. Also, there's still many more requests for this game, and I think about 95% of those requests are all from Cape. So, not to worry, Manicamia fans, there's still much to come. And, um, yeah, I, I don't... I, I just vaguely remember seeing, like, something connected to the Atelier and that thing, and I think that also uses Alchemist as well. I could be wrong about this, but I'm pretty sure. I don't be... I don't want to say the wrong things, but anyways, the return of Manicamia. So both are kind of short. Yep. All right, let us go. I wonder if this is gonna sound metal because I remember till you. Anyways, a smile of ice. It has a lot of sound effects that are hinting at ice, like the crystallizations and it definitely sounds cold, but at the same time it sounds a little um like far east. Real Indian influence as well. Oh man, I, I this might be weird, but I'm a huge fan of songs that are like this length, like around two minutes to three minutes, because it just leaves just the right amount of like curiosity and. But it, I can still get a lot of information from that, but it, it's just, it's just cuts off right at like a, a teasing point, and it just gives me to like, okay, where am I gonna go with this? I did get a setting in mind, sort of. Something along the lines of, like, cave. Cave, spelunking, chamber, you know, some some kind of enclosed space. I wasn't really getting, like, an open sound. And I think that had to do mostly with the mystery of the song. It sounded like something you would hear during, like, a long corridor, a mysterious cave. You know, like, the drums coming in for... 10 seconds and then going away the song felt very expressive it felt more like like a thought process as opposed to a song per se it felt like you were just progressing through something although very quickly so and then all the little sound effects of the i don't know if we had a rain stick but we had like chimes like descending 
that also reminds me of like crystals, which reminds me of like, think of uh, if you ever played the, if you ever played FF7, think of like the, the is it the mithril mine? Yeah, something like that, kind of, you know, just like crystallization and like old, yeah. I mean, the, the song does have ice in the title, so there's kind of that in my, in my head too, but interesting timing for me to be hearing this considering what I'm working on right now. So this may or may not go into that. I have to learn more about it. Um, and I'm also not sure if the other song is connected whatsoever. And the name, right? Kind of metaphorical, a smile of ice. The song put me in a really thinking mood. Like what is actually happening? It was so mysterious. It had a lot of Eastern sounds, both uh, like Indian, then like some like Asian inspired sounds, sitar sounding stuff, some chordophone style sounding stuff, but just like the use of things coming in and out. It, it felt more like a I don't know. I wonder, like, I'm trying to think of if the track length has anything to do with the writing process. For example, like, if it's actually that long in game, then it could be a shop as well. And then my mind goes to, like, maybe a shop in a cave, you know? Like, I just can't get my head out of a sort of cold cave. <laughs> the song definitely has, is sprinkled with sound effects of, of cold and, and all that. And... I'm pretty sure that's why it was sent to me, but I can hear it, you know, like everything sounds in a way like it's kind of emulating the sound of nature, wind, uh, wind hitting rocks, wind hitting ice, breeze, kind of like walking on snow. It at all felt very much like a, like a pop-up book, if anything, in my mind. That one's going to have to, I'm going to have to process that one a little bit. I hear it a couple times because it didn't loop, so, okay. And I don't remember at this moment if I've seen footage of any of the of this series, so I don't know if it plays like a traditional RPG, if it's a... I don't know. So I, I don't know if you actually walk through these kind of settings or if they're just like a st static background or something. Anyways. Interesting. I'll look... You know what? I'll, I'll look up um, some footage of it while I do this. By the way, is there any information on this? Ah, yes. Released 2008. Composed by Ken Nakagawa and Daisuke Achiwa. Let me know if I've done anything from them. I don't recognize the names. Uh, well, this one's interesting. It says the song is not on the OST. Song and art belong to Gust. What? What does that mean? Again, I'm not sure if these songs are at all connected besides just being in the same game, or maybe not. Uh, while that happens, I'm going to look up some footage of this game. This is A Young Man's Worries. <laughs> like a turn-based RPG? That's a nice art style to it. Ooh, a woodblock. So it seems like this is more of a world of music sound. I like the rhythm.
Da. Bum, bum. Dun, dun. Interesting. There's over a minute left of the song. Uh, I'm going to fast forward. Okay. Um, that one I might have to listen to again because I was, I was kind of duped. There's a whole minute of silence in this video. Uh, let me hear that again. Okay, is that a weapon on his... Arm? Jeez. The rhythm goes away here. Opens up the piano. Pretty catchy though, for as short as it is. I think the resounding feeling I'm getting for both of these is outdoors, very like outer nature adventure, and it kind of threw me for a loop because from what I remember of the Atelier series is, and the reason it stuck out to me is because it was like really intense kind of metal and the art style based on the thumbnail like did not look like it was going to be so maybe i heard battle themes or something and that's just how it sounded i've been, i know very little of this whole entire series but i believe this might be some of the most calm songs i've heard i do not remember what the other manicamia sounded like i did a year ago it was a year ago I'm gonna have to check that out now. So, this is a role-playing game developed by Gust, 2007 for the PS2, the ninth entry to Gust Atelier series. Okay, confirmed, they are related. And incorporates elements of standard turn-based combat and alchemy. A PSP version was released, which included additional features. Uh, the PSP. <laughs> I love that thing. <laughs> At the core of the game is alchemy through which the player can create weapons, armor, usable items, and complex ingredients for these recipes. So that's like a big thing is like normal progression gives you a bunch of different items. So like finding stuff, fighting enemies, and like the main thing is so does that mean there's not stuff to buy, like your traditional like shop, and it's just you create your own, and then depending on where you're on the game, it's like they give you items based on like your level, you know, like so they don't get overpowered early. That's interesting. The players gather to require core materials through field exploration, spoils of combat, or by purchasing them, purchasing them in the shops. goes into an alchemy wheel. Hmm. 
You can avoid encounters by running and jumping over them. Oh, so it plays like a standard uh, turn base, but you can have characters in reserve and you can switch them. You could switch them during a normal turn or be called in at the end of a character's attack to provide an additional blow. That's interesting. So it's like its own little spin on the turn-based RPG. There's a lot of mechanics. Pretty big soundtrack. 36, disc one, 30, yes, yeah, so like 70 songs. Damn. The reason I looked it up is because I never really get uh, this series too often on the channel, either the main series or Manicamia. So it's like I, maybe I'm probably not going to remember the next time it comes around either because so many things have, are going to happen in between that time. Uh, what's up with this one though? Like about not being in the OST? What is just did it make it? Bonus track. Very uh, curious about that. Is this the main character? That outfit is wild. Well, not the outfit. Uh, the choice of weapon looks like a gauntlet with three humongous swords. Uh, okay. And then Alchemy is the main thing. This song, oof, you know, I'm not really sure because the title is just something more of a memory or significant story event. But the song to me sounded very much like a town theme. And that was pretty much all I got from that. It just sounded like a, a generic town theme, nothing really specific in mind. But it just sounded like something you would hear over and over and over as you progress through little town shops and going through doors and talking to NPCs. But the title of the song kind of suggests otherwise. Hmm. Either way, I have to go listen to the first uh, Manicamia that I heard over a year ago, which was... Oh god. Let me see. Got me looking at my phone a lot this episode. It was Stigmata. That was the only time I heard it, Stigmata. That's another interesting title too, right? So it was just a lot of metaphors. Who knows? Let me know. Uh, okay. Well, yeah, the first one definitely gave me uh, cold. Definitely cold, cold sound effects, cold feeling, maybe even a cold uh, town as well. Second one, uh, I'm going to go with my gut and say this is more of a dialogue or memory scene. But I, I can't help but think it sounds like a town theme. Let me know more about Manicamia. Pretty cool. And have there been more after Manicamia? Like, what's the current series? Or is Atelier still going and this is like a side series? I'm assuming they're, they finish one and they go into the next, that type of thing. Cool. I mean, no more. I still have a lot of requests for this game, so the story will continue at some point. Thank you to Cabe for uh, being a fan of the series and keep requesting stuff. And uh, yeah, thank you to all my Patreon supporters. I cannot be here without them. Thanks to you for watching. My name is Jesse. Let me know whatever you want about Manicamia. Take it easy. Have a good night.